Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Yaxity Gaming, everybody, as once more we are going to pick up our Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode here in MLB 15, the show. So as you know, last time we lost our series opener against Oakland mid-August, August 11th, so this is kind of going to be an in-betweener episode. So this episode is going to carry us to August 31st, where we will face Cleveland in a new series, but the reason why we're only going up till August 31st, whereas I would normally go all the way to September 4th or so in this episode, the issue being both our minor league teams are in contention of winning their divisions in the minors. So if that does happen, then we'll have an episode or two to follow along and see how they do down there. Of course, we've got a few pitching prospects as well as a few... I guess you'd call them fielders that are going to potentially make the team if they don't. So we want to see if their development continues down in double and triple A or else they come up to the big club in September. We'll see. Of course, you know a September call up will be Marcus Stroman, but we will get ahead to that game against Cleveland. We will lose Taylor Cole for a little bit and win loss, loss win. And Casey Hobson is going to be injured. We'll keep him on the 15-day DL. There's a couple wins. There's a couple wins. And Casey Hobbins is no longer injured. Awesome auto utilize. And looks like Ryan Goins is going to be out in a few months. We are going to put him on the 15-day DL. And Jose Bautista is back. So let's auto utilize and let's make our roster changes as we need to. So here we go. Jose Bautista is back, which means... Center fielder Dalton Pompey will be going back down to AAA. He is, of course, only 66 overall, but he's really advancing down there in AAA, so we'll send him back. And looks at the pitching rotation. Ari Dickey's back to 71 overall. The guy's been bouncing around all over the place. Uh, looks like Mark Burley's been killing it, so is Marco Estrada and Aaron Sanchez. Drew Hutchison has just been playing Jane all over the place. And Roberto Osuna is the AL saves king at 42 saves overall so far. And we need to bring back Jose Bautista, who is batting ninth. I would not put Bautista ninth. I'm actually going to put him down there, Devin Travis there. And looks like, yeah, okay, Troy Tulowitzki is going to move back down into the four hole. And then Bautista there, and we will put Devin Travis up there. Ben Revere in nine, Kevin Pillar in eight. There we go. That is one set, and we will set this here. Josh Donaldson there, good enough for me, just like that. And Devin Travis up there, Russell Martin, Jose Bautista, boom. Same thing here, Ben Revere, Jose Bautista, boom, Kevin Pillar, good enough. There we go, guys, lineups are set. Let's jump ahead. We are leading our division. Let's take a look at the minors. Leading, leading, oh, we're five and a half back. Uh, double A might be a risk, but we will jump ahead into our game against Cleveland here with two more Sims to go. Lost there and a win there. Puts us 79 and 51 going into September. We have a guaranteed 500 year. Let's play this game against Kansas or Cleveland and make sure we get into 80 win territory. Aaron Sanchez on the mound. He's going to dominate and we will play lock as none other than coming back from injury. Jose Bautista, and we will transfer him to DH. Yep, DH, and we will take Deonna Navarro out in favor of Chris Colabello, who is, let me see, been killing it off the bench. Yes, he indeed has 13 home runs, 33 RBIs so far, and Russell Martin always needs a day off when we play, so Deonna Navarro, get in there. Let's go. The Blue Jays lead the division by 12 and a half games over the Boston Red Sox. Last we checked, it was the Orioles who were in second place, and then the Rays were in last, and Boston was in fourth in the division. So a little bit of flip-flop, and I mean they're all within about four and a half games, five games of each other. So it's going to be a tight race. Maybe they finish in a wild card spot. I don't know what the other divisions look like. We'll worry about that once we're past the minor league playoffs. So let's jump ahead into this game, and Aaron Sanchez on the mound. He'll walk the first batter of the game, and there's been scoring in every inning so far. So here we go, Jose Bautista with nobody out here in the bottom half of the second, trying to extend that. 
Here comes the first pitch. Inside for a ball. He could have cranked that if he was looking for it. But that's all right. As Bautista will take it for a ball. And now he'll try and crank this one. And he'll crank it through the hole in the infield. Oh, the shortstop knocks it down. But Bautista will leg out a single in his first game back that we have played. And here we go. Base hit for Bautista. We will fast forward to the next appearance. And Diarno Navarro will ground into a double play. And then Chris Colabello flies out. So it's a 2-1 lead in the bottom fifth for the Blue Jays. Or I mean the Indians. The Blue Jays are trailing by one run. They need Bautista to come up big here. He'll look at a two-seam fastball. Right down low. Just above the knees. About thigh high there. Outside for a ball on the two-seamer there. And it's a 1-1 count quickly for Bautista. Here we go. Pitch number three. Oh, and Bautista's trying to rip at that slider thinking it's a fastball. And he's way too early on it. And that will be strike number two. So he's going to be defensive here. This is going to be grounded up the middle. Oh, the second baseman's there. And the throw is going to get him by a step. And Bautista is out. And the Blue Jays will have to move ahead with DeAndre Navarro taking the walk. Tying up the game. Bautista with two outs in the bottom half of the sixth. This is the big up out of the game. So Blue Jays score two or three here. Game's over. If not, oh my. Inside for a ball on the slider. So they're keeping their pitcher, Cody Anderson, in. This might be a mistake. Bautista, even though he's 81, is still dangerous. That's... <laughs> okay, that's called the ball. Sure, Bautista will just wave that one off. He'll take a second here to regroup. And here comes the pitch. And he's going to, damn it, pop it up. Bautista could have rode that one had it been a normal straight fastball, but instead it's that two seam with that action. And that's what messes up his bat there. That may be the pivotal left bat of the game. E no, we got two runs so far in the bottom of the eighth. So Bautista looking to extend that lead so his Roberto Osuna has a little bit of room to make that save. Outside on that curveball. That one had a lot of movement on it. That was high in the zone and then fell right out. Bautista will follow this one off. That was another big breaking curveball. That one just low in the zone. Here comes pitch three at the bat and pitch three for this new pitcher. He'll throw it out there. Ball number two. That is Austin Adams for the Cleveland Indians. Here comes pitch number four at the at bat and his fourth pitch of the game. Bautista's going to ground it over his head. Tough play there for the shortstop. He will make it easier to Carlos Santana. And that will be the out. And Roberto Osuna. Oh no, it'll be Bo Schultz. What the heck? Justin Smoke in defensively at first base. Why is Bo Schultz coming in? Roberto Osuna now coming in. And he will get the save. There we go. Troy Tulowitzki, your hero for this game. Home run and three RBIs. We will take a look at the box score. Looks like Travis had a hit. Everybody had a hit. Except for Navarro, who had a base on ball. Okay, that, that works for me. Pilar had an RBI, and Tulo had the three. So he was killing it. Pilar had a home run. 15th homer of the year for Pilar. Sacrifice fly for Tulowitzki. That's huge. Colabello had an error out there in left field. Ooh, that hurts. And then Sanchez pitched six of two run ball. That's good enough not to earn him the win, as Aaron Loop takes his 10th win of the season. And Roberto Osuna, .2. And he gets his 43rd save. So guys, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to this edition of the Toronto Blue Jays Franchise Mode. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If not, leave a like on the video. Catch you in the next one. So long from Yacht City.